Um, this week God taught me that like no matter what you've done in your past or like no matter how far gone you are like he still wants you to love him and he still wants you to come back that like everybody goes through stuff and like it's not just you like you never know what someone's going through that they're not like telling people about so just like be kind to everyone que todas as vezes que a gente estiver com dificuldade todas as vezes que a gente estiver caindo em pecado que ele ele morreu e ele ressuscitou e ele é perfeito então em todos os momentos ele está com a gente I learned how no matter how bad your actions God still loves you no matter what and once you're saved you're always saved. God has been teaching me how to be a better person in life. I learned that Christ loves me even though I sin a lot and that I am accepted by him. I'd say God has been teaching me a lot about sacrifice, sacrificing things that you hold on to yourself, things that keep and you're so worried about uh, letting go and you need to let some thing, things that are sinful when I need to sacrifice those things in order to live your life, in order to trust God and what and all that he does. I looked at my actions and how I walk and I said, is this really everything I can, I can sacrifice, everything I can offer? I decided to recommit how I walk, how I talk, how I think and I'm, think, I'm really thinking before I act now. He taught me to forgive people. É, conhecer mais gente, não, é, não fazer pecados. Eu uh, made my decision to recommit my life to Christ and really work on having him fulfill me instead of other things. Be selfless, not be so selfish. Everybody sins, but as long as you're willing to forgive, but as long as you're willing to accept him and know that he's he's the God of everything, then he'll be he'll be willing to forgive your sins and be willing to forgive you. God's been teaching me this week that I have to rely on Him more instead of trying to rely on myself to get through things. Any amount of work I do won't get me through uh, my days. It's, and uh, especially with the Chrissy story, it's showed me that I can't leave my depression and anxiety to myself to deal with. Um, when, when she was talking about how we can still have like anxiety and stuff, that made me think to myself, like, am I really saved? I was like, I'm not, so I was like, I need to make the decision now, because I don't know if we have another day. I've learned a lot about evangelism, actually. Um, we went through a seminar today about evangelism and what's the best way to share. I think that I've, on this trip, gotten the best like answers for how to successfully evangelize to my friends or someone I might not know. God has been teaching me like how to treat others better, love your neighborhood as yourself. That teaches me a lot and I really like it. God's teach me that Christianity is supposed, isn't supposed to be boring. He's teach me to trust in God, forget like, and sacrifice all the stuff I don't need. Um, to get out of my comfort zone and to make new friends and to like when I'm struggling with something that I'm not the only one and that it's important to share things because other people will have the same problems and it's important to not go through it alone. Então, na minha vida pessoal, Deus vem me ensinando que eu devo ter mais amor ao meu próximo. A gente passou uma semana junto com pessoas que a gente convive é, tipo uma vez na semana e dessa vez a gente está convivendo uma semana inteira. Então Jesus vem mostrando no meu coração que a gente deve cuidar mais do seu próximo, que a gente Trust God not only in my future but also in my present and the situation that I'm in right now and just like making sure that my decisions that I'm currently doing in like my immediate future like reflect what I believe in. When I go home, I'm going to focus more on reading the Bible, uh, focus more on going out to search for the truth. Um, teaching me that I'm really blessed. I never really like opened my eyes to like see that and I just kind of always see the bad stuff. You know, he's taught me to like stop being negative. And I said to Jesus this week, staying devoted to the Bible, getting about like 15 to 30 minutes a day to really take time to uh, worship God and get into the Bible. To just be more open and to talk about things that you need to talk about more. Helping others, probably for like whoever's not saved or whoever's like going through a different time, difficult time, just like help them out going through it, help them learn about God.